Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new decorating video. You guys have been loving these and I have been loving making them for you. If you guys are new here, my name is Katie and I love sharing homemaking and lifestyle content here on my channel. And we have been doing a lot of redecorating and room refreshes here on my channel. So if that sounds like something you guys would enjoy, please consider subscribing before you leave today. I'm really excited to share some amazing pieces that I'm adding to my home today. So make sure you guys stick around. I'm also sharing a really yummy pasta salad recipe towards the end of this video that you do not want to miss. It is a fan favorite. So let's get decorating. When I decorate, I always source my home first. So this lamp is the Hearth and Hand collection and it has been in my guest bedroom and I'm just gonna move it out here to this sofa table. And I don't know if this is the lamp that I want right here, but it's definitely gonna give me an idea of what I want and the look that I'm going for. But before we get too much further in today's video, I wanted to thank today's sponsor. So thank you Tenco for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I got a brand new cordless stick vacuum that I've been trying out and I cannot wait to share it with you. This is my Tenco Pure One S15 and I've been trying it out so I feel very confident sharing with you all today how much I've been enjoying it. From the iLoop technology to the powerful suction to four times the runtime, there's just so much that I have been really loving about this new vacuum. A couple of my favorite features on this vacuum is the LED head and it lays flat and you can really see into those tight spaces and under furniture when you're cleaning. And the other technology I love about this vacuum is the detangling comb that is on the brush roller so you don't have to worry about hair getting all tangled up. The sleek, aesthetically pleasing design of this vacuum is also very satisfying. And the eye loop technology is really cool. As you see this color at the top of this LED screen here, it changes colors so you know when it's clean, red when it's dirty, blue when it's clean. I also love the debris bin has this button that presses down to help you just easily dispose the debris out of this bin when you're cleaning it out. It's lightweight, it's easy to move around the house. I mentioned the amazing runtime on this vacuum. It comes with a few different attachments and I tested them all out on different areas of my home and I am very, very satisfied. I wanted to demonstrate the powerful pickup of this vacuum here in my kitchen as I'm cleaning and I could not be more pleased. But the other design that I really wanted to show with you, share with you all is the freestanding charging base. So you can line up all of your attachments and I have all of my Tenco products if you can't tell that I'm a fan already. I have all of my Tenco vacuums right here, the carpet cleaner, the wet dry vacuum, and now my S15. So I will have everything linked down below in the description box for you. There is a big sale for Amazon Prime Day. I will have links down below where you can save big. And thank you so much to Tenco for sponsoring this portion of today's video. randomly in the car now um, I'm running around trying to find very specific pieces for some certain areas in the family room and just like around the downstairs I'm just kind of very simply tweaking things um, I went thrifting which you guys saw that but I didn't really find what I was looking for so I'm actually out front of a home goods and a TJ Maxx which is a super dangerous combination because they're right next to each other it's also a Target and a Burlington <laughs> Um, but I'm going to kind of poke around and see what I can find for those areas that I'm looking for. Um, and I'm really, really hoping that I can find a couple pieces. And if I do, we can go home and decorate some more. Um, so that's kind of like the update. If I see anything good, I'll show you guys. If not, then I guess I'll just see you back at the house. Home and I hit the home goods 
jackpot. Now I shared a little bit over in my stories on my Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me over there, make sure you jump over and that you do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a really, really quick haul of what I picked up today because I haven't been this excited about finds out in the stores in a really long time. And I cannot believe the price tag on some of these items. Like I was ready for a way larger total at checkout than I received. So I'm gonna give you guys prices on everything and then we'll go ahead and start decorating. Um, but oh my gosh, I cannot even wait to share this with you. So I went in looking for pillows and artwork and a magnifying glass and I found all three. Like what? I was gonna go in even TJ Maxx TJ Maxx next door and I didn't even have to because I found everything in one place at home good so this is the piece of artwork that I found I thought it was so pretty it's just a really beautiful landscape print um, in this really pretty traditional ornate style frame and this was just $29.99 now I originally had another one in my cart um, but that one was $60 and it had a lot more loud busy frame on it That was more of like a stark gold I thought this kind of was toned down a little bit more and so I decided to go ahead and swap it out But it ended up working out because it had the lower price tag as well I went ahead and put this in my cart and I'm so excited to get this hung in this space I really think it's going to just like cozy it up give it a more homey feel in here So we're gonna do that right after I'm done showing you guys some of the things that I got I did grab a couple throw pillows for the couch because I've been swapping those out and I think these are going to look really beautiful on the couch with the color theme that I have going, kind of bring in another texture, another pattern, and these were just $19.99 a piece and the brand is Celery? <laughs> Celery? Can you see that? But I loved kind of like the window painting, the colors, it's pulling creams beiges and grays like that really beautiful brown color if i'm being honest i'm not a huge fan of the tassels but i figured i could always clip those off if i really really didn't like them but i grabbed two i was in the market for a beautiful magnifying glass to put on that book that i put out in this video that i thrifted and they had this one i loved the detail on the handle and it wasn't like it's a realistic size it wasn't too small or overly big and this is by global influences and it was just 14.99 i thought it was so beautiful and ornate i just want everything just to flow so nicely so i went ahead and grabbed that and i can't believe they had they had two and i can't believe that i actually got my hands on that one if you guys love the volcano candles, um, I think they're by Capri Blue. They smell so good. They are not cheap though. And I found this dupe. It's by Red Leaf Home and the scent is Midnight Citrus. It literally smells identical to the Capri Blue volcano candles. It's a very like citrusy, cozy scent, if that makes any sense. So if you guys see the Midnight Citrus, Scent while you're out in the store make sure you smell it let me know how you like it um, I'm not putting a whole lot of blue in my home right now but I love the scent it is one of my favorite candles and I do feel like it still gives it kind of like that moody cozy vibe so we're gonna go with it these are probably what I'm most excited about out of my whole haul these are by cupcakes and cashmere at home and these were just $4.99 a piece for a glass I get it $4.99 can actually sound kind of pricey but these are those coupe style champagne glasses these are just so beautiful look at that detail it does have like an iridescence to it and they're just so classy and they had five of them i wish they had six i probably would have bought six but i didn't want that uneven number so i went ahead and grabbed four of them and i feel like these have to go on display maybe i'll put them over here where i have like my beautiful liquor decanters but I have just, I've had some of these in my cart on Amazon, but they can't be pricey. So I have not pulled the trigger, but today was my day and I got my hands on some and they're just so, so beautiful. A couple more things to show you and then we'll dive right back into the video. This is actually gonna be um, going up in the homeschool space, which I'm gonna be making a whole video on that, a whole other makeover refresh in that section of the house as we gear up for the new school year. So I got these new seat pads to go on the chairs in there. That way while the boys are in there working at the desk or the table, I have a nice comfortable chair to sit in. And these were two for 
and they are by the brand Brooks Brothers. And here is the texture. I thought they were just like very neutral and beautiful. And I also love the style ties on those as well. Um, so excited to see that space come together. The last thing that I got from Home Goods is a code orange. It is a Halloween mug, but in my defense, I will use this mug all year. All year. I have a skeleton wine glass that I use all year. It is my absolute favorite. I love all things spooky. This was just $5.99. It is by Blue Sky. And I knew if I waited to grab him, he wouldn't be there. I think there were like four of them. Um, and I have been on the hunt for a while now for a really cute, not cheesy, spooky ghost mug. And I think this one is so perfect. And I think this is even like a little mouse. It kind of almost looks like the ghost is scared of the mouse, but I loved his facial expression on here. He looks scared and he looks kind of aged. He's not a stark white ghost mug like you see sometimes in the other stores. So I grabbed him. This is officially my first Halloween purchase of the year and I could not be happier. Here we are 12 minutes into this video and we are going to start hammering out some decorating. We're going to be putting out everything that I just showed you guys in my haul. I'm still on cloud nine over everything that I found. I thought I was going to have to go to multiple places today, especially after a failed outing trying to thrift some of these items, but I still feel like I got a really good deal and a lot of bang for my buck. So let's go ahead and start bringing everything together in this room. And I really, really am loving how it's all coming together. So make sure you guys let me know down below what you guys think of how this space is coming together too. I die a million times for you. I wanted to mention that this is not where I wanted these beautiful coupe champagne glasses to land. I really feel like they are something special and I want to give them a way better place than where I'm putting them right here. But I actually want to like 
remove cabinets and put up backsplash and put in flooding shelves and all the things which is obviously not going to happen in today's video so this is a very temporary place for these glasses but these will be moved around because they are so stunning i don't want them to just be shoved in a corner so just for the sake of having a nice safe spot for these to land for the time being i think this little corner is perfect and they make a lot of sense being we have our other cocktail sipping glasses and decanters over in this area of the room that picture perfect sky now and looks so great cold we've been playing his and for a.m and you haven't said a word to me mm. silent treatment is this what it feels like when your heart is shaking when you bleed I promised a really yummy pasta salad recipe in this video. So here it is. Anybody can make this. It is a crowd favorite. Anytime that I bring something to a friend's house for like a potluck or a side for a barbecue, this is what everybody asked me to bring. It is so good and so simple. The ingredients are super basic. I'm not gonna bore you with a lot of chopping, just enough to kind of show you guys what goes in here. So I just used whatever pasta I had on hand. So I went ahead and poured that bow tie pasta into a pot. And while that is boiling and cooking, I'm gonna start preparing all of my veggies. So I've got green and red bell pepper, cucumbers, red onion, cherry tomatoes, mozzarella pearls. That is my favorite part. Or you can slice up string cheese cheese, which I've done just as often as probably I use the mozzarella, but I will say I prefer the mozzarella. And then of course the salami and then the zesty Italian dressing. That is really gonna make this pasta really pop and be super tasty. So jumping ahead, the pasta is cooked and I let, I'm gonna let it cool. I release a lot of that steam from the middle of the batch let that cool for a little bit and then that's when I'm going to go ahead and add my Italian dressing and start tossing in all the vegetables. Sadly, I was almost out of the mozzarella pearls. I think I had a heavy hand when I made this just three days ago. This is what I have left. Usually I love to load up a lot more of the mozzarella pearls in here, but this is just what I had. So you can also add sliced olives. I just was out but that's it put it in the refrigerator serve it nice and chilled and then you can salt and pepper to taste but thank you so much for hanging out with me today do not forget to check out tin coat down below in the description box and that prime day sale is july 11th and 12th this year don't miss it's one of the best sales you can get on tin coat products Subscribe and like this video before you leave today. I would absolutely love to have you and I will see you in the next video. Bye friends.